Hello, Jack Keeper here with Shingla Pro. And in this video, we are going to submit to a blog carnival. And uh, before we do that, uh, we're going to do an overview of creating a new list real quick uh, so you can see how to do that too. Just a quick recap in our last video, we covered the features of the blog carnival submitter area here, showing the reference numbers here, which correspond to your actual blogs down below, blog carnivals. So anyways, let's get back to creating a new list. Clicking on this tab here will take you into a new list area where you can create your own custom list. And to do this is very simple. All we need to do is come down to our carnival selector and start selecting carnivals. And of course you want to make sure that the carnivals are relevant to the type of blogs that you're submitting. So for example, if you have a business blog, you want to select carnivals related to internet business. Um, if you have other categories covering, say, uh, self-improvement areas, uh, laws of attraction, so forth, then you want to group those together in a specific category as well. So you can gear those towards your blog post. Very important that you keep your blog post relevant to your category. Uh, otherwise, you can run into problems with the blog carnival hosts and uh, you definitely want to respect your hosts and, and you don't want to get yourself banned from them. So anyways, enough of my rambling. Let's go ahead and make a, a quick list here of self-improvement. Let's start with, uh, let's see, and <laughs> I know there's quite a few self-improvement type. Uh, here we go, creative growth. Okay, so we have a carnival of creative growth and to add that carnival all we have to do is click the add button and it shows up here in our list and again this is a reference number referring to the carnival of creative growth now our category reference number is showing zero because I forgot to select a category so to correct that problem all I have to do is go to the category list and select something like uh, creative business growth and then select change category and this reference number will change to four, which denotes uh, create a business growth category. Now to add our next item in the list, we simply click here and it will continue automatically from where we left off, which is quite the time saver as well. And really the only thing that takes a little bit of time is, is building your initial list. And once you got them built, you'll be saving yourself a ton of time. A carnival Improving Life, there's a good one. And let's make that finances. Add. And we'll just pop one more in here. Uh, we won't do a complete list here because uh, we want to save time here for the, the video. Uh, you kind of get the picture. So let's go ahead and select Financial Growth for our category and add that in there. So you what I recommend is that you go through the entire list until you get uh, everything filled related to, in this case, self-improvement. Uh, once you have a complete list, then just come up here to save and then give your list a name and we'll just call it uh, self-improvement. Uh, and save it. Okay, now if we want to use that list, and we'll just pretend the list is full, <laughs> we'll just simply go here to open list, select self-improvement, and as you see it's showing up now as our new current list. And so if we scroll down through the list, you'll see that the corresponding carnivals are showing up through this. And of course, if we were going to submit to this list, then we would just hit auto submit after filling out our information, and that would be that. So let's go ahead and actually submit to a blog, Carnival. I'm going to go ahead and open up my Internet Business Carnivals list again. And like I mentioned in the last video, this is a starter list that I included with the blog Carnival submitter just to kind of get you going. At some point, some of these carnivals may go south. They may not exist anymore. So you'll kind of want to go through your list and make sure that these carnivals are still good and maybe delete some of the ones that... Uh, have expired and then you can add some more carnivals in there related. In fact I think I saw one in here that wasn't 
existing anymore and it was right here so this carnival is gone uh, for whatever reason the host probably decided not to host carnivals anymore or dead blog you know, many reasons so anyways to get rid of a dead carnival I usually call it pruning <laughs> I just hit delete and it's out of here so now we don't have to worry about that so anyways I'm gonna go back to the beginning of the list because the auto submit will submit from the beginning so let's go ahead and submit a blog post I'm gonna go into my internet business blog and here's a blog that I just wrote today an article so I'm gonna go ahead I'm using Firefox so I'm gonna right click and select copy link location another way you can get your permalink is to uh, just click on it and you can go up here and right click in your address bar and 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 copy it as well so either way yeah, I'm sure you already know that but let's go ahead and permalink paste that in and then we'll click into the next field and we'll wait and it should refresh and give us extra information here there we go now it's filled in the title uh, blog URL and name so I'm gonna go ahead and put my name in here again and my email okay now we're gonna jump down here to the ca uh, oh, no captcha okay well normally you would have a captcha here uh, not really quite sure why it's not there <laughs> I did a submission earlier and it's possible it could have saved the information but okay we'll go with that that's fine so I'm gonna go ahead and hit auto submit but I just like to mention first normally the capture field will show up down here and when you get to the capture field just enter in your capture number but don't click here you want to resist the temptation to click the submit button I know out of habit it's it's easy to do or you might hit the enter key and submit and if you do then you'll need to uh, start at the next item in the list here and hit your auto submit so anyway don't click submit go up here and click auto submit instead and we'll go ahead and auto submit to our blog <coughs> carnivals and as you see it's running down through the list uh, fairly quickly and I have a small delay programmed in here between each one to help ensure that our submission is going through and sometimes you'll get this web page has expired and that's alright you can just refresh the page and that'll normally complete the uh, submission so let's check our email and let's see if we have anything yet as far as receipts go so I'm gonna go ahead and click check mail and it looks like we got quite a few here so let's hit our inbox and there you go there is our uh, short list of carnivals already so as you can see they've they've instantly uh, begin to show up in our mailbox and it was that simple now we've just instantly submitted 15 or so carnivals in one shot so that's how extremely simple it is to use Singla Pro, the blog carnival submitter. No more do you have to spend so much time trolling through the list one at a time. <laughs> that should do it. I appreciate you coming out and checking out the video. So go get yourself Singla Pro and save yourself a ton of time and create monster backlinks to your blog, which will certainly increase your search engine ranking by by quite a bit having a high number of backlinks and if you know anything about SEO and Google you'll know that Google loves sites with lots of backlinks that's really a big factor in getting high search engine ranking anyway thanks again we'll see you in the next video